I can be your hero, baby. I can. All right, I won't sing the rest, but listen, David Rayo, the hero tonight. Arsenal won, Porto nil. Arsenal win on penalties, four two. Unbelievable, David Rayo, my friend. Thank you, thank you so much. I've said things like he's not tall enough, he's not quite the level we need. Tonight, you are the hero. The thing I love so much about David Rea's interview after the game, first thing he said, I should have saved three. That, and I know I'm not doing the Marcus Rashford celebration, that is the mentality I want to see at Arsenal Football Club. Not is he celebrating two saves. The man is saying I should have saved three. I am absolutely shattered. I need to go to Hawaii, Honolulu, go on the beach, get some pineapple juice, put my feet up for the international break. But no, I've got you know reviews to do and stuff like that. I am shattered. How do you guys feel? I play. I feel like I played the whole 120 minutes. Let's talk about the game. Let's review the whole game. The performance was absolutely below par. I don't want to bring people on a downer. I'm just being honest. One goal, brilliant goal. Odegaard, great pass. Odegaard, um, Trossard slots it in. Brilliant, great celebration, all of that. What was we doing for the rest of that game? How many saves did that goalkeeper have to make? How many times did we turn 41-year-old Nicolas, Pe um, Nicolas Pepe, Pepe and make him run? 41 years of age. The man's the same age as Mikel Arteta. Our manager's the same age as their centre-back. He didn't have to run. He had an easy night at the office. Listen, if we're going to progress in this competition, we need to learn from what happened tonight. There was a lot of naivety in that performance at times. We've got to grab games by the scruff of the neck and play at our tempo. I felt like we allowed Porto to play the game they wanted to play. They sat back. We didn't press them that much. We have to improve. Performance down here. Result up here. And that's what cup competition football is about. But if you're going to run into Real Madrid's, Bayern Munich's, Barcelona's, Manchester City's, you're going to have to play better than that. Let me just go through the team quickly. Real was good. Back four, I thought the back four, they kept a clean sheet. They did their job. They were all right. You go into the midfield, I thought Rice was a little bit exposed. You know, when we left him in the in the pivot by himself, I thought they left him a little bit short in there. Havertz um, struggled today, looked tired. Odegaard was good when he got the ball, but maybe didn't get on the ball enough. Jorginho was okay, he came off. Saka, listen, and I don't want to individualise players too much. Because this is a momentous occasion for Arsenal Football Club. But Bakayo Saka's performance today, honestly, one of the worst performances I've ever seen from Saka. I think you're now seeing a player that having no competition at right wing is costing him. Because he can go through the motions and not perform and he doesn't get dragged. We're Arsenal Football Club, one of the biggest clubs in the world. Saka's a great player, but if he plays like that, we should have the ability to drag him. The manager obviously doesn't trust Nelson, doesn't think he's quite good enough. He'll learn from it, he'll come again. Luckily, we got through, he scored his penalty, so I give him some credit. Remember the Euros missing the penalty, he still showed a lot of cojones, but we need better than that. They're calling you star boy, they're calling you world class. I need to see you go up a gear in big games. Trossard wasn't great, but scored a fantastic goal, and Havertz should have been taken off. But again, scores a fantastic penalty. Odegaard's penalty was brilliant as well. Declan Rice, we scored four from four. Mikel Arteta, you've got to be braver. And people will go, you're not the manager, he knows more than you. But listen, let's talk about it. Mikel Arteta has said all season, I need a better squad. I need strength in depth on the bench. You know, I can't turn to it and bring people on. Tonight, you had part A. Partey and Tomiyasu might not be fit enough, so I can excuse that. Smith Rowe, I don't know what he's done. I don't know what Smith Rowe's done, but it looks like you hate him. You don't want him to kick a ball. He can't get a kick. Nelson gets 100 grand a week. You don't bring him on, even when Saka's poor. You refuse to take Havertz off. And, you know, Fabio Vieira, you paid 35 million for. So you've got to be brave. If Saka's having a stinker, drag him. You know, some of these guys need taking off. Havertz looks shattered. Now, ultimately, you might have left them on the pitch because of penalties. Well, I think we could have gone for the game in extra time if we'd been a bit braver with the substitution. So what I will say, performance below par. Back four and the goalkeeper have to take some credit. 
And I thought Declan Rice and Odegaard, Rice had a tough shift. Odegaard did some good things. We needed him on the ball more. But moving forward, we have to learn. Because if you get Madrid or Man City or Bayern Munich in the draw on Friday, you are going to have to go up another level from that performance. And when I saw Eddie and Ketia coming on, I said, bro, 12th of March 2024, Champions League last 16, and you're drawing for Norbit, for Nutty Professor, for Sherman Klump, for Edward and Ketia in a Champions League knockout game to win. We cannot be there. We cannot be in that situation. I'm sorry. And Zinchenko, my friend, we brought you on to pass the ball. I mean, I don't think you could pass wind. You kept giving the ball away. So you've got to improve as well, my friend. But listen, that's enough of the assessment and the being calm. We won. I'm shameless. We're in the quarterfinals of the Champions League. First time since 2010 that we've made the last date of the Champions League. Champions League draw midday on Friday. Make sure you're tuned in. Let's see who we get and enjoy it tonight, Gunners. We've had, honestly, tonight is one of the most difficult watch-alongs I have ever done. That was a hard game to watch. That was not enjoyable. We were not free-flowing, but we got the result we needed and we're into the quarterfinals of the Champions League. Now, for me, just briefly looking ahead, I think Dortmund, and no disrespect, because people who jump in the comments and go, oh, Dortmund are brilliant and blah, blah, blah. I'm being honest. If you're looking at the teams in there, you don't really want Madrid, Bayern or Man City. Inter, if they beat Atletico, will be very tough. They're top of the Italian league. PSG, I mean, they're dangerous going forward, you know, with Mbappe. Dortmund would be the one, but listen, it's the Champions League quarterfinals. You'll be lucky to avoid all the big teams. So, listen, who do you guys want in the quarterfinal of the Champions League? What do you make of tonight's game? Who was your man of the match? David Ray has got to be the man of the match, of course. Green screen settings for him. I'm off down to the Emirates to celebrate. Get in the comments, like this video, subscribe, and I'll see you all tomorrow, people. Bless. Come on.